Hello again, Julie from WRWDW.com. I wanted to talk today about ways that you can save money on your Disney World vacation, specifically by using gift cards. So I've touched on this a little bit here and there um, when talking about ways to save specifically, but I thought I would do an overview of saving with Disney World gift cards. Um, so you can get gift cards for Disney World at a discounted rate if you know how to do it. So there are a few different ways that I like to get gift cards and you can use gift cards not only at just like the, your local Disney store in your mall, but those same gift cards are good at the parks for food, for souvenirs, for park tickets, for resort packages. Um, so you can pay for your whole trip with discounted Disney gift cards. So there are a few ways you can get them at a discount. Um, first, if you have a Sam's Club membership, you can buy three packs of gift cards at a discounted rate. And Sam's Club tends to change the rates on it, so I don't know what it is exactly at this moment, but you can get a $150 gift card. Usually it ends up being somewhere between like four and 6% off. So that's a good chunk of change off of your um, gift card if you have a Sam's Club membership already. You can also save, if you have a Target Red card, you can save 5% on Disney World gift cards. And what I love about the Red card specifically is if you're like, oh, I just, like, I don't need another credit card. I don't want to deal with a credit card. You can, they have two options. You can do a credit card or you can do a debit card that comes right out of your bank account. So you still get the Red card. You swipe the Red card when you check out. Um, but that money comes directly out of your bank account and you get 5% off. So you don't have to worry about interest charges or anything like that. If you do do the credit card though, I will say the interest rate, even if you have immaculate credit, the interest rate on those are super high. So if you do end up getting a Target Red card, make sure you're able to pay it off before the interest hits. Otherwise you've just wiped out any savings that you might have. But 5%, that can be huge, especially if you're using it for your whole vacation package. 5% is a big deal. So that's a great way um, to save some cash. Uh, another way that I like to get a discount on gift cards is you can buy from third party sellers. Um, there are companies, uh, I believe Card Kangaroo or um, Card Flip are the two that I use. Um, and what they do is they find people who have gift cards that they don't want. So for Christmas, you know, somebody gets a Disney gift card and they're like, eh, you know, I'm not going to Disney. I'm not into Disney store. They sell it to card flip or whichever company they sell it to them. And then that company turns around and sells it to you at a discounted rate. Now, if you're going to do something like this though, make sure you research who you're buying from to make sure that they're legit. And if you get a bad feeling, don't do it. But there are some, I have done this and I've saved, I'd say upwards of 10% on my gift cards by doing this. So um, you can check it out, see what they have to offer. Uh, a tip though, if you do buy from a company like that, only buy whole dollar amounts on your gift cards. If you see a gift card for you know $37.43, obviously somebody used it as a partial. If you buy it, you're not gonna be able to combine it. Disney allows you to combine all of your gift cards. So if you're buying from Target or from Sam's Club and you wanna combine them all onto one gift card to make your purchase easier, you can do that by going to DisneyGiftCard.com and you can combine up to $1,000 onto one card, but if it's a partial credit on the card, they won't let you combine it. So make sure it's a whole amount. If it's 50 bucks, get it. If it's you know 47 and some change, I, I wouldn't waste your time. Um, so combine all of your cards then, and then that's a great way to pay for stuff just on one card, so you don't have like 40 cards that you're using. Um, and I would say the same about buying cards off of eBay. If you're going to do that, only people with high ratings, high reviews, um, and make sure you pay with PayPal. So should there be an issue, you can easily dispute it. Um, but I've purchased from people who have high ratings and have never had an issue. So just make sure you are being vigilant and doing your homework if you're doing that. Then once you have all your gift cards, go to DisneyGiftCard.com. You can combine them all. And what's great about that too, is you have it all in one card, but should something happen if you lose your card, you can just go on the website and transfer it to a different card. So you don't have to worry about somebody stealing your balance on there. So those are some great ways that you can save 
on your resorts, on food, on tickets, on anything Disney related using gift cards. So I hope that helped. I will see you in the parks.